Hi, it's Julie Meller, Easy Swing Coach. Uh, I've just finished coaching this morning and I've been observing some of the golfers here at Arden Coat. And it's prompted me to make this video about weight shift or in, in quite a few of their cases, lack of weight shift through impact. Who's ever seen this golfer on the tee? Let me do this properly. Who's ever seen that one? And they hit a fantastic golf shot because you can hit a good golf shot with any golf swing or they hit the ground before the ball or top it or hit the shot way, way offline. So would you agree that that's good or bad weight shift? Hopefully you're gonna say it's bad weight shift. Okay, um, we've got a great little practice drill for you to do. Uh, this will look slightly strange when you first do it and I'm not going to get you to play golf like this but there's some fabulous learning from it. So again, we're commonly told to keep our, our feet nice and still in the back swing, yeah, and then try and follow through, uh, in, through to the finish. But I just want you to watch what my, my feet do. Uh, it's again, fabulous practice drill for you to do. That's actually gone quite straight, about nearly 150 yards. Uh, what did my feet do? I think you probably saw that they, one went this way and one went that way. Did you also note where I finished on the follow through? So I'm just gonna do that again for you. Okay. That's a really nice strike. Um, did you note how I, I went forward after I'd hit the shot? Now, a lot of people who believe that you have to keep your head down, theirs is gonna look like this. And they'll fall backwards. So if I keep my head down too long, I can't weight shift. I cannot get my weight shifting through. So as soon as we do it this way, I'm actually looking for where I want my ball to go. My weight shifts so much easier. So a lot of the issues around weight shift are caused by a deep rooted belief system that we've got to keep our head down or keep looking at the back of the ball. I think possibly the worst piece of advice that um, a golfer could give his friend was uh, you keep your head down and I'll watch where your golf ball goes. I think we've all heard that one. Okay, so weight shift. The reason, the reason it's so important, if we match weight shift with club head speed, we've got everything working in the same direction at the same time. So we've got club head speed, body mass and pressure all going in the same direction at the same time rather than head stuck down arms going past no weight shift through impact and you know if you were if you were boxing somebody i don't think you'd box and and lean back you'd probably go forward same thing applies when hitting a golf ball so as soon as you hit it my weight's way forward now you see how all my weight's on my front foot and in balance as well. So great little practice exercise for you. It's called the swinging leg exercise. One, two, and you see how our weight goes forward. It's not really about hitting fabulous golf shots, but what you will do is get used to how your weight should be shifting. Tone it down a little bit. And all of a sudden you're gonna finish in much, much better balance. And you're probably gonna hit far more consistent golf shots. Uh, I hope this video has helped. Um, if, you, if you like what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends if you find it helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.